What's happening, options traders? Good morning, happy Friday, everybody. I just wanted to post this quick video as a follow-up to the last one that I did talking about candlesticks because there's an interesting formation going on right now that often confuses students who are brand new to candlestick charting. And because I'm going to, going forward, post various videos as certain stocks show these different formations and teach you what they mean and why they're important, you have to understand why you can get what seems to be a paradox. So let's take a look at what's happening. Well, as you can see here, NVIDIA is trading for 255.47, down $4.66 or about 1.8%. And that number's in red, showing that the stock is down. But if you look at today's candle, it's green. Why is the candle green when the stock is down? And that's the paradox that people often struggle with when they're new to candlesticks. Doesn't happen often, but this is a good day to show a case like this and why it's occurring. First of all, let's go back up to NVIDIA here and find out where this number is coming from. The stock is 255.47, down 466. That number right there and the fact that it's down is always based on yesterday's closing price or whatever the previous trading day happened to be. So look right down here. Yesterday's close was 260.13. And if you take 260.13 minus 255.47, you'll get 466. So the stock is right now trading $4.66 lower compared to yesterday's close. However, how is the candlestick being formed? Well, as I showed in that candlestick video, each candle is made up of four key prices, open, high, low, and close. And if the closing price is above the opening price, the candle body is colored green as we're seeing here. However, if the markets are currently open, then the top of the candle here, or the closing price, would actually represent the stock's current price. If we switch the open and the close, so that the opening is above the close, in other words, it closed at a lower price from the opening, then the candle is shaded red. So regardless of the color though, look at those four words. Nowhere in there does it say yesterday's close. The candle gets its color strictly from today's open and close. It has nothing to do with yesterday's close, and that's the distinction. Well, if we come back to the chart here, you can see that today's open was 252.78, but the current price is 255.47. So it is true that the current price is greater than today's opening. That's why this candle over here is green, because it's only showing you where the current price is relative to today's opening price. But that looks a little odd to people who are new because the entire candle is shifted lower compared to yesterday's candle, and yet it's a green candle. And that's what looks a little odd to new traders because they'll say, well, a candle is shifted completely below yesterday's candle, and so it must be down. Why is the candle green? So remember that the candle always gets its color based on today's opening and its current price. It has nothing to do with yesterday's close. But when you're looking at the stock price change up here, that is looking at the current price relative to yesterday's close. So I hope that solves the little paradox for you. And uh, hopefully you'll continue to learn more about candles because we will be using them going forward for a lot of the different strategies we'll be talking about.